Hey guys, uh, Andrew here. Uh, this is a really quick uh, tip for Cinema 4D users uh, when it comes to rendering out to After Effects. Uh, and I think it's really useful. It's just the way I do it. I don't know how you're supposed to do it. Um, but I'm just going to be recording it on my phone here, so I hope you can see it. Okay, I'm just going to start out by adding a, a, just a cube. I'm just going to move it up over the grid. Then I'm going to add a, uh, a floor and I'm going to add a sun and basically the sun just sets up a, a really quick lighting setup for you. I'm just going to change the values here a little bit and if you render uh, this out you know it's just going to be the, the box and the shadow um, okay so this is how I go from Cinema 4D to After Effects. I'm going to go to my cube right here right click Cinema 4D tags, uh, compositing tag and then in these settings uh, I'm going to go to object buffer and then enable the first one and then I'm going to go up to uh, my render settings All right, and I'm going to uh, click multi-pass go to uh, the multi-pass button right here and do uh, object buffer and then I'm going to do um, See ambient occlusion. I'm also going to add a uh, shadow pass. Um, well, you're going to want to enable ambient occlusion right here, obviously. Okay, so uh, yeah, if you render this out, just a preview real quick. You know, you're going to have your ambient occlusion right here and your shadow. And basically, what that's going to do is uh, when you render this out for After Effects, um, it's going to render a pass with just the box, and it's going to render a pass with just the shadow, and then a pass with just the ambient occlusion, um, which is really beneficial. So uh, I'm just going to render this out uh, real quick, and then uh, oh, also one one other thing. Uh, go when you go into save, uh, be sure to enable the compositing uh, project file for After Effects um, because that's just really handy. Anyway. Yeah, do all this, and then uh, see you in a second. Okay, we're in After Effects, and here is my .aec file. You're going to want to drag that into here. And once you do that, um, you're going to have two folders, the cube and the special passes. Okay, I'm just going to take um, the cube, and then in a new composition and there it is right there and it's just you know it's just one file okay anyway so but if you take the uh, the uh, what is this object one which looks like that and bring this down here and put it over this you're just gonna see that it's just a cube and if you set uh, the, the cube picture right here uh, you set the track mat to Luma mat, and you're just going to have your cube. Okay, cool. I'm also going to put this button on so you can kind of see the background. Anyway, okay, now I'm going to drag in both of these. These are just the uh, shadow and the ambient occlusion. I'm going to drag these down under those. Right there, and right there. Um, and then set the modes here, the blending modes, to this is really hard to do on an iPhone. Multiply. Good. Do the same thing for this one. So, once you do that, um, well, if you have, uh, here, I'm going to create a new, uh, a new solid. I don't know, like color, maybe a bluish something. If you put that under all of this, Okay, cool. See, you're just going to have your individual layers, and you can edit that how you please. You can click on the shadow, go to the opacity, turn it down, and you know, you can control, you know, how uh, how strong you want your shadow there. And then you can also just click uh, uh, your, your cube file, and then uh, go to effect uh, uh, curves, and you can, you know, adjust this where it just affects your cube. 
So anyway, that's the tutorial. Just a really quick tip. Sorry if it was really confusing on the phone, but um, I hope it helped you. And uh, see you guys later.